Professor David Payne, director of the University of Southampton's world-renowned Optoelectronics Research Centre, has been knighted in recognition for his services to photonics, the science and application of light and electronics. Professor Sir David Payne for services to photonics research and applications. Sir David's pioneering research has underpinned an astonishing range of world-changing technological advances over the past five decades. The university is delighted that his enormous contribution to society has been recognised with this prestigious honour. It reflects many years of exceptional work from Sir David and his colleagues at the ORC. So what did I feel about getting a knighthood for 50 years of service to photonics Fantastic. I thought this has to be an accolade for the whole team here at the University of Southampton who've worked so hard with me all these years. I felt incredible and I felt the geeks are winning. Photonics is about light. It's what powers the internet through optical fibers. It's about lasers. They cut steel. They weld your iPod together. We are probably the oldest photonics centre in the world and started up here in 1967. And since that time, we've had a very uh, fortunate position to develop some of the key inventions which power the internet today. So, for example, what's called the erbium doped fibre amplifier is a way in which we amplify light throughout the internet. So without that, the internet wouldn't exist. Your mobile phone calls wouldn't work. It came from here. One of my proudest achievements with my colleagues is the fact that we don't just do research, we commercialize it. So we create wealth, we create jobs in the Southampton area and indeed worldwide. So the greatest satisfaction I get is when I go to some of our local 10 companies in the surrounding area and look at what they're making and see and remember how it came out of our labs as just a twinkle in our eye as much as 10 years ago. That's a fantastic feeling. And there are many, many examples of that that I can see all over the world. When I go into labs in China, I see products made here in Southampton which came originally from the Optoelectronics Research Centre. That's what it's all about. And this is just the beginning. It's early days in photonics. Unlike many other fields, this is not a yet a mature field. And many people have described the 21st century as the century of light. <laughs>